here we back now we got to address a topic man we got to address a topic that i've been meaning to address for a while and because it dropped into my comment section i might as well go ahead and attack it now take a look up on the screen now as you already know on my channel i drop a lot of videos on history now this brother came into my comment section a while back and he said this why don't you do a cartoon version of these stories so us in africa and the diaspora will enjoy and then this lady came into my comment section who goes by the name of Desaline's daughter she said this is not African history. This is Haitian history. Your people sold us. Now, first of all, I just want to say this is not in our culture. Like this, this bullshit that she just said, she got that from somewhere else. She got that from somewhere else because that's not in our culture. That's not even part of something we pass down to the children. We don't even talk about Africa like that. Keep, keep it a stack. She got that from somewhere else. God knows where. And I don't even know how she can call herself Desaline's daughter when Desaline's mother was an African woman. But anyways, that's a topic for another day. Let's attack the subject. My number one problem with the fact that she said that is she doesn't even know the nationality of the brother who made that comment. He came into the comment section, showed love, said, put it in a cartoon form so we could enjoy it. It would be more entertaining, things like that. And then you come into the comment section, he could be from Tanzania. His people might have nothing to do with the transatlantic slave trade. And you talking about your people sold us. He could be from Burundi. He could be from Kenya. He could be from South Africa. And when I see people fly off the handle without even knowing any of the background or the information, I already know you got an agenda because you didn't even stop to ask this dude, where is he even from? You just say, oh, African sold us. The entire African continent sold the entire diaspora what kind of bullshit is that but that goes to show that a lot of us still view the african continent as one big nation state instead of properly viewing it as a diverse continent full of different nations cultures lifestyles cultural practices spiritual teachings things like that you dump it all in one damn box so you say your people sold my people and who's your people who's their people oh the entire african continent against your one group of people stop it stop it that shows that a lot of us ain't really reading books like that a lot of us are very deeply miseducated a lot of us are walking around grown as hell but dumb as shit and unfortunately this is a byproduct product of the european narrative of history if you notice in the european narrative of history the europeans give themselves the luxury of individuality when they tell their stories of conflict different type of rivalries they've had throughout history they give their own distinction i'm the britishman i'm the frenchman i'm the spaniard i'm the portuguese man you know what i mean when it comes to the african it's just oh them africans over there you know the africans the Africans, you know what I'm saying? You don't get the you don't get the individual you don't get the individuality that the European is given. The, the respect that is given, right? We make the differentiation, right? That's the Frenchman over there. He got his own interests, he got his own allies, he got his own nation, he's got his own culture. But when it comes to the Africans, it doesn't matter if you're Ashanti, you Dahome, you Oyo, you know, you are from the Sokoto. It don't matter where you from, right? You you from North Africa, South Africa, East Africa, Tanzania, you know, the kingdom of the kingdom of Zimbabwe, South Africa, Zulu, it don't matter. You all get them to the same pot, the Africans, right? So unfortunately, that's a byproduct of the european narrative of history because that is how the europeans frame the that's how they frame the storyline right they give the, they give their own story as the britishman he has his own story the frenchman he has his own story the american he has his own story but when it comes to the black man we don't we don't get the luxury of individuality unfortunately and due to the way that european historians have framed the storyline of history nobody views africans in their own individuality their own cultures their own nations things like that we dump them all in the same pot regardless of their different allies enemies ambitions how they came together rivalries it doesn't even matter nobody cares to acknowledge it because there's a lack of respect given there off the rip and for her to be a haitian i find it hypocritical because i guarantee she would never want people to dump her and dominicans in the same pot just because you share an island right and i'm sure the dominicans also wouldn't want to be dumped into the same pot as the haitians just because we share an island are you going to call us the hispaniolians oh no because we're haitians and they're dominicans they have their own cultural practices their own you know way of life their own way of doing things and us is the same thing the Haitian and the Dominican are two different groups of people. Just like the Congo and the Ashanti are two different groups of people. The South African and the North African are two different groups of people. The East African and the West African is two different groups of people. And even within those subgroups, there are different groups below those subgroups. So this entire idea of Africans sold their own people into slavery relies on the assumption that Africans were this one big, one big group on the continent, one big nation state on the continent. That's just not true. Africa is a continent of diverse cultures, languages, people. The term black as a racial classification that was recognized worldwide was created by Europeans during the colonial era. Different classifications such as language, cultures, and lifestyles were used to differentiate the various nations and kingdoms of the continent. It's also important to note that Europeans themselves did not have any sense of unity or cohesion among each other until the Berlin Conference in the late 1800s. Even after the Berlin Conference, Europeans had two major world wars. But you don't ever hear people saying, oh, the Europeans killed their European brothers. Oh, the European brothers. Oh, you sold my people. You killed my people. The Europeans killed my people. 
even with the various conflicts and military exchanges that have occurred between Europeans going damn near back 800 years, they still managed to cooperate politically and economically in the modern day, despite their differences. So I don't understand why black people can't do the same. You're still holding grudges from the year 1755 and the European blowing past you. And he done, he done spilled more blood against his own brothers than you did. And for some reason, whenever you look at people who are condemning the African continent for their actions during the slave trade, you notice they're living in countries that have benefited from the slave trade, right? They're living in the United States. They live in somewhere in Europe, right? In some colonial West western power nation right that's where they live in that's the economy they decided to enrich that's where they decided to send their kids to school to be educated under their curriculums but they got such a problem oh your people sold me into slavery but i'm gonna go benefit I'm gonna, I'm gonna go enrich the economy of the western powers that continue that built their wealth off the back of the slave trade and now i'm gonna continue to keep them in power through my expertise and my tax dollars you're full of shit a lot of y'all are full of shit honestly the only people who could talk like that are those who are living in their native countries off in the countryside growing growing food off the land eating what they grow things like that you know living off the farm living off the land not really plugged into the matrix as we call it those people those people can say okay i'm not enriching the, the european power structure i can talk my shit a lot of y'all y'all eat breathe bathe everything y'all get is from the european power structure and you want to go wave your finger at the african continent you're full of shit a lot of y'all y'all full of shit and i'm calling it out regardless if you're from my ethnic group or not y'all gotta stop that bullshit on my channel we do not talk like the uneducated folks down at fba we don't even talk like that stop that shit you already know our culture we embrace africa we've always shown love to africa we don't even talk like them imbeciles down at tarita and she's clubhouse stop it right now but going back to the topic man you always hear people talk about africans sold their african brothers but you never hear the same thing you don't hear the asians killed their asian brothers when japan invaded and pillaged china during the mid 20th century you never hear that though when it comes to the african the, the narrative framed in history is always gonna be some bullshit when you're talking about the black man every single time man every single time that's why it's important for us to grab the microphone and set the record straight now let's continue in my opinion it's goofy for black diasporans to say that africans sold them into slavery because it promotes a victim mentality and fails to acknowledge the complexity of african societies many of us in the diaspora are descendants of slave trading societies that ended up on the losing end of a battle or confrontation and were then sold to european slave traders so you got to acknowledge the long-standing multi-century rivalries between different african states our disunity as a continent served as a gateway for outside forces to instigate internal conflict in order to carry out their own personal economic agendas and as a haitian woman she should understand that especially when in the past we've actually went to war against the dominicans right so some people classify the dominicans as a black group i personally don't but a lot of people do right so that's that would be a classification of two black groups from different cultures going at it on the battlefield because they have different cultures different ways of life a different ambition different interests different allies different enemies so at the end of the day it's no different than what happened on the african continent between for example the oyo kingdom and the kingdom of dahomey right going back and forth what's the difference between a conflict between the oyo and the dahomey versus the haitians and the dominicans right it's two different groups of people close in proximity different ambitions different interests going toe to toe getting it in fighting for power and dominance in the region what's the difference between a conflict between the oyo and the dahomey and the haitians and the dominicans and let's say the french and the british you got battles between the french and the british going all the way back to the goddamn 1200s even during the Haitian Revolution, the French and the British were going toe to toe in the 1800s. But like I said before, for some reason, African nations are not given that luxury of individuality. They all get dumped in the same box. So the action of one African nation represents the action of all different African nations. But everyone else around the world gets to enjoy the luxury of individuality, right? Everybody stands behind their own flag and their own culture. But for some reason, they just say, oh, the Africans. They put them under the same banner. And like I said, I'm a Pan-Africanist. I'm a Pan-Africanist, but I'm not no delusional Pan-Africanist that believes that we should all dump our cultures in the trash can and our flags in the trash can and our no yes we are all one people globally but at the same time i recognize and i respect our variety and our individuality right i love the fact that the brothers from ghana got their own swag got their own way of doing things got their own way of seeing the world the brothers from nigeria the same thing the brothers from south africa the same thing the brothers from the congo the same thing the brothers from kenya the same thing everybody got their own way of seeing the world their own way of of doing music their own way of eating food their own way of living life their own way of raising their children i respect everybody's individuality right that's the type of pan-africanist i am and also i'm a pan-african that views the world through a realistic lens i don't look at the african continent through these rose colored sunglasses that y'all do right where everything was sunshine and rainbows and we were just planting potatoes and planting yam and planting you know all type of food in our farms and just you know living off the land with the with the animals nah africa it was just like europe was just like america yeah men battling for dominance and power in their regions pre-colonial african rulers were no different than the rulers in different locations of the world from asia to, to europe it was the same goddamn thing 
The same way the European kings were battling for dominance in Europe and the New World, guess what? It was the same goddamn thing. The same way Shaka Zulu was going all around Southern Africa, conquering different nations, conquering different kingdoms, subduing different chiefs. The same way the African kings from Mali and Songhai were going around dominating the Sahel, controlling the trade routes, it was the same goddamn thing. And I'm especially disappointed in her because she's a Haitian, right? You gotta stop with that victim mentality bullshit. Oh my god, you sold my people. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck, nigga? First of all, a lot of us who got sold, a lot of our great, 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 great grandparents were goddamn doing the selling. And guess what? One day you got knocked over the head and they threw your ass on the goddamn boat too. Because guess what? That's what happens during war and conflict. Yeah, that's what happens. And once again, she's Haitian. Ask her what the hell did our ancestors do during the war when we took prisoners? We didn't even sell them. We just killed them on the goddamn spot. We just killed them. We didn't even sell our prisoners during war during the Haitian Revolution. We just killed their ass. And if a black person took the side of the French and we took them prisoner, we killed them too, even if they was black. So stop all this victim mentality bullshit. Oh my God, you know, we so good, sold us. Nigga, stop it. Stop looking at Africa with rose-colored sunglasses thinking Africa is one big nation state instead of looking at it as the, the continent of diverse cultures and nations and kingdoms that it is. The same way the French and the British had a rivalry that went back damn near a thousand years, it was the same thing for many African nations on the continent. You're trying to attach modern day viewpoints and narratives to pre-colonial African nations that it doesn't really apply. It doesn't really apply. You're trying to you're trying to apply the viewpoint of today to pre-colonial African rulers who had to battle with the interests and the ambitions of different nations that were surrounding them that were all populated by black men and women. So all that black shit, all that black unity shit goes out the window when the next kingdom next door to me is taking certain political actions or certain economic agendas that would end up harming the citizens of my nation. So what happens? Guess what? A lot of times you're going to take up arms the same way the Haitians and the Dominicans took up arms against each other way, way back. In summary, man, stop looking at the slave trade as this one-sided affair where one party holds all the guilt and holds all the remorse and the other party is this helpless victim, bitch-made motherfucker who couldn't even defend themselves. That, man, stop that. Stop that victim mentality shit. That's not even in our culture. Stop that shit. Especially if you live in a nation that built its wealth from slavery. If you're living in the United States, if you're living in France, if you're living in Great Britain, if you're living in Spain, if you're living in Portugal, I'm not trying to hear shit about what the Africans did during slavery because, motherfucker, you sitting right now enriching the economy of a motherfucker who got rich off the slave trade and you don't have no problem doing it you gonna you gonna work for the motherfucker that got rich off the slave trade but you gonna act like the slave trade hurts your heart so goddamn much shut the fuck up your goddamn kids going to harvard and yale talking about oh look at my son going to harvard and yale when they built their wealth when they got their institution started from slavery a bunch of y'all walking around with bank accounts from jp morgan chase not knowing they also built their wealth off of slavery but you don't got no problem doing that though a lot of y'all sending y'all children to private Catholic schools, not knowing the Catholic Church. Yeah, guess what? They gave the cosign of slavery. But you don't got a problem with that, though. You're going to brag. Oh, yeah, my, my son goes to Sacred Heart. My son goes to St. Gregory the Great. My son goes to Holy Cross. My son goes to uh, St. Saint, Saint Jokerman, blah, blah, blah. Nigga, shut the fuck up, man. But the reason why none of y'all really go take the European powers head on, because a lot of y'all scared. Y'all don't want that smoke. Y'all don't want that smoke. A lot of y'all bitches. Y'all don't want that smoke. And I know she's a female, but I'm talking about in general, because a lot of men feel the same way too. A lot of men talk the same bullshit, right? She, she's a female, so she kind of gets a pass because, you know, I'm not expecting her to, you know, get fired up and try to turn up. But at the end of the day, I still got to address it because she made the comment in my comment section. So I'm addressing the point in itself. I'm not attacking her personally. But yeah, man, stop that bullshit talking about Africans sold other Africans. Guess what? Because a lot of the times you can trace your ancestry back to the same regions that we're also getting involved in the selling so your hands ain't clean your hands ain't clean at the end of the day let's move forward the same way the europeans move forward like i said the europeans been going toe to toe battling against each other since the beginning of time and guess what they can still put their bullshit to the side and cooperate with each other economically and politically so why should we not be able to do the same man anyways bro it's your boy nefakari desaline back in the building yes indeed like share subscribe cash app in the description and i'm gone peace Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, sh now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension Enemy watching me blocking my vision Then for the check cause I need my redemption Building my kingdom, I need it protected Ready for war like a young money Congo Never decided the team is the motto Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain
ain't that make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hour with it, wage. I got business. This shit is an art, and they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play all my money, I see you ain't caught. Run to the check, and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the source. Packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me, and she so at least. Shorty be chugged, and I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gonna murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit, and you're smacking their faces.